All right, let's talk about the Jets yeah. yesterday because I did. That's yeah, what definitely kept me up. And I thought to myself when Zach threw that interception Ooh. with a couple minutes to go to give the ball to uh, Denver play. for one last needing only half the field for a game tying field goal. I thought to myself, Ed, did I stay up till one in the morning just for this? <laughs> I've lost sleep That's over this. literally what I thought to myself. Literally. I'm like sitting here in my hotel room, in my finally appointed hotel room. Finally appointed. And, uh, 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 Rich is finally by the way, appointed this, hotel this, fantasy this, game. This artwork that's on the wall, yes. if if you zoomed with Kurt Warner and everyone else, same, it's the same. They must have like 90 of these. And just hang it <laughs> it's in, one in every room. room. <laughs> it's in it. every room. It's, like, it's in every room. Taken right from the Tate <laughs> Modern. Yep. Honestly. Uh. So at any rate, that said, I'm sitting here in this room, one in the morning. I'm thinking to myself, did I really stay up till one in the morning just to watch this axe in the chest? Is that really what's happening? And then the Jets defense that uh, that had completely um, bowed up um, throughout much of that second half came up with that final turnover. Uh, by the way, uh, on the drive over to the Tower Bridge to do the NFL total access hit that I did with Kurt Warner today, I asked him, what did Sean Payton say to Russell Wilson as Russell had come off the field after that fumble return for a touchdown that came because he was trying to make a play late? And he said that Sean Payton said to him that he was hot, not not that Sean Payton was hot, but that the hot receiver is exactly what Russell should have thrown it to. Was the that running the back linebacker, was hot. yeah, correct. That the linebacker, I, I believe it was um, uh, Quincy Williams. What we're seeing here is Jermaine Johnson on the screen. It was another giveaway by Russ, but um, it was it was Quincy uh, Williams coming in, and it was his uh, running back that Quincy had left to go rush that Russ should have hit. That's what Sean Payton was telling him. And, you know, what we're seeing out of Russ, unfortunately, is just a lot of running and and not much else. And it's truly amazing how uh, the first five games under Sean Payton has not been an improvement at all from the Nathaniel Hackett um, era, in quotes, and that's what was kind of great for me to see is I wanted to see another week of Zach having the light on. Now, the light was completely off at the end of the first half when he lost track of time. And clearly, these are mistakes that against better opponents will come home to roost and cause the Jets to lose a game. That said... It didn't on this day because the defense got it done. And then Zach made some nice throws in this game, mm -hmm. albeit one was picked. But he made some nice throws, some over the middle, some on play action. I saw more from Zach. And then obviously Brees Hall Ooh, getting it done dude. and showing up like he's he amazing. did. In, yeah, he's true. I he's mean, dude, he, is, takes, he takes long strides. I mean, he is big. He runs hard and he takes these long strides that wind up giving him a burst and whatever, you know, he was caught from behind against the bills and he was caught from behind a couple of weeks ago as well. Not anymore. <laughs> I, I, that guy's gone. Yeah, He's out the gate. And this is a huge development because it was on that stadium's turf that he blew out his knee last year. So I, I feel, you know, I, I can't believe that, it feels like the Jets won two in a row, but again, their record right now this this season is is two two zero oh, and one, uh, with that last one being a moral victory against the Chiefs. I'm still looking in the standings to see that fourth column, but I don't see it. And they get the Eagles this week. That's right. And so this, to me, before a bye week, like going home and you know, I. I stopping the brotherly shove and figuring out how to beat the Eagles would be a very tall order. But that said on this day, struggling to get the ball in the end zone, struggling to actually get points before the half struggling against a Broncos team that clearly is struggling in its own right. I started feeling very poorly. And then the third quarter was <laughs> stupendous. And then Bryce Hall, Brees Hall got it done. And then Bryce Hall returned the fumble recovery for a touchdown. And then I uh, decided to go to sleep. And I'm like, oh, let me check out what's going on with the Niners and Cowboys. And then 10 minutes later, I went to sleep. <laughs> and, no. and then it put you to sleep. Um, I, I want to play you. I don't know if you saw this over there. I didn't see it until this morning. I was at Rams Eagle, and this one, Eagles, rather, this one flew under the radar. Um, the Nathaniel Hackett, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I almost said Paul. Nathaniel Hackett storyline here, winning it for the OC and former 
Broncos head coach, the Sean Payton, so uh, unceremoniously and and without class, I could say it, threw under the bus this past summer. Did you see C.J. Uzama's pregame huddle speech no. to the Jets? Roll the see. tape, Hoskins. If you had trouble hearing it, it's they made this bleep personal, so bleep him and bleep them. Ah, this I thought one it was a truck backing up. Is for Nathaniel Hackett. <laughs> okay. And they hey, went look, out man, they and made him a captain before the game. I and like it. if you see afterwards when they're all hugging it out with Nathaniel Hackett on the sideline, his face is all black. It's because there were so many guys hugging him. Their eye black. I was wondering about what that was. On his I was wondering face. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I saw like he had a big, huge yeah. smudge on his face. Uh, I just thought that was just, the, you know, the black cloud that was hanging overhead when Zach threw that last pick. But that's just me being a Jet fan. <laughs> you know, hey, look, whatever they want to use, whatever they can get together. I just love Salah's demeanor. I love the fact that he's held everything together. And they have a shot to go home and really put a huge pelt on the wall and get to 500 before going on a bye. And then finally get through this hellish part of their schedule um, and have it kind of um, lighten up. But they're not one of those teams that can just roll it out and beat an opponent because they have a better roster. They're just not there yet because Zach just needs to keep getting better. But, you know, after that first quarter against the Chiefs and it was basically, you know, uh, a foregone conclusion that it was going to be a Kelsey, you know, um, uh, love fest with, you know, Taylor Swift on NBC, and then it all turned around. It's I'm 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 just was very pleased to see the win. Um, I was thrilled to see an actual offensive snap with the lead that happened for the first time all season in the third quarter of this game. So that was fun. Um, and just things are looking up that they're not in last place. They have an actual light on with their quarterback, and we'll see what happens. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, twelve to three Eastern, for free.